everyone. Uh, welcome back to this week's uh, testimony. I'm third class Amelia Campbell and this is my testimony. Um, so over the summer I was stationed in New York uh, at a small boat station for phase one um, and I was really excited to go but um, I was nervous because it was something different than anything I've ever done before um, and it was the first time that I've ever really done on my own. Um, so I left the academy um, and it was just me and one other cadet that went uh, to this station where we didn't know anybody. Um, and it was definitely the first time that I've ever been on my own since becoming a Christian. Um, I'm so used to being surrounded by uh, the community here um, and we're blessed to have an amazing community uh, here at the academy uh, with OCF and just with all of our brothers and sisters always um, being around, um, which is so amazing. So I was really nervous to, to leave that and to go to a new place where I was kind of uh, on my own in a spiritual sense. Um, and I knew that was going to be a struggle. Uh, so I made sure when I got to New York that I was uh, staying in the Lord and uh, spending time with God. Uh, but I still really had a desire for fellowship, um, and I couldn't really find any uh, where I was. Um, so after a few days of being in New York and settling in, I called um, one of our OCF class mentors and we just talked for a while and you know asked if he could help me find um, some ways to get plugged into the community. Uh, or come up with some ideas to find fellowship because I felt like I really needed it. Um, like without it, that I was becoming farther from God, uh, which is something I did not want. So we, we talked on the phone for like an hour um, and we looked at different Bible studies and small groups and um, worship services and everything uh, in the local area, tried to find really anything we could and came up with nothing. Um, so after about an hour of searching, uh, we did find a church, which was really nice. Um, but this mentor that I, I had called, um, he just told me, I think that w the Lord is really uh, calling you just to pursue uh, a personal relationship with him right now. Uh, and to maybe not focus so much on finding fellowship, um, but to really just like dive into the word, study your Bible, um, learn how to rejoice in the Lord alone, and learn how to take refuge in him. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's great advice. It <laughs> wasn't really something that I thought about. I was so concerned with finding fellowship that um, I was kind of ignoring my personal relationship with God. Um, so I, I prayed about it and thought about it, um, decided that, yes, that, that was what I needed to do. I needed to pour into that personal relationship with God. Um, so I prayed about it, and um, God, God started teaching me right away. Um, so a couple of verses that he gave me uh, to... To think about really for the whole rest of the summer uh, came from Psalm 137 and 138. Uh, one morning I was out reading my Bible uh, by the lake and my Bible just flipped open and the wind blew it to uh, the page that Psalm 137 is on um, and it was really cool because Psalm 137 uh, asked the question how can we sing the songs of the Lord uh, in a foreign land and I was like wow that's that's funny because that's exactly how I feel like I was away from my my friends and my family and um, everything that I'm used to uh, so it felt like a little bit of a foreign land um, and then as I kept reading uh, the verses that God had shown me uh, in Psalm 138 verses 1 through 3 um, it kind of answers the question of how we can sing the song uh, in a foreign land uh, so I'm just going to read those verses the psalm says, I will praise you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I will sing praises to you. I will worship towards your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me and made me bold with strength in my soul. Um, so meditating on these verses uh, over the rest of the summer really helped me uh, to realize that I can sing the song of the Lord um, in a foreign land and it wasn't because I was comfortable there or I settled in quickly or that I felt prepared because I certainly did not um, but I can sing those songs of joy because God hears me and strengthens me um, he answers me and he's faithful um, and he's willing to teach me um, and then another verse that really uh, helped me grow over the summer was Psalm 46 verse 1 which says the Lord is my strength and my refuge uh, and ever present help in trouble um, and God really proved that to be true this summer uh, originally when I first got to my station I was fearful of all of the the free time that I had and those moments that um, uh, just didn't have anything to fill them um, because usually those times would be filled with fellowship 
Um, but then by the end of the summer, God, uh, God really taught me how uh, to rejoice in those moments and uh, just look forward to spending time with Him, uh, going on like prayer walks or having coffee dates with Jesus, as I called them, or uh, just going on drives and worshiping. Um, became like the highlight of my day and of my summer, um, just getting to spend that quality time with the Lord. Um, and so the whole the whole summer of learning how to find refuge in Him made fellowship so much sweeter. Because after I left my station, um, I went on to Eagle with um, a bunch of my classmates, and there was just such a super strong fellowship that we had um, for six weeks being out underway, um, which was so amazing. And um, I'm so grateful that God uh, took the first half of the summer to teach me how to find my refuge in Him, because um, it made it made me realize that. When I go into fellowship, already having uh, my hope and my eyes set on Him it makes everything um, so much better. Because fellowship, uh, while it is good and while God does want us to be in community with others, He wants us uh, to put Him first and love Him first. Um, and that is something that He definitely taught me this summer that I'm extremely grateful for. Um, so I hope that this was a little encouraging to you. Um, and just remember that God is our refuge, he's our rock. Uh, we're safe in his, present and in his presence and he's always present. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you in